Yesterday, Apple announced a bunch of new features for podcasters in 2021. Apple Podcast is the best place to listen to all your favorites. And we're making the biggest change to Apple Podcasts since its debut. One of the tools that got an upgrade was Apple Podcast Connect. This is where podcasters submit shows to Apple Podcasts and also maintain them. Uh, it took a while for me to get access, uh, about 8, 10 hours just for it to re-index my shows, I guess. But now I'm in, and this is what it looks like. So if I go into one of my existing shows, it lets me know that there's going to be some new features coming, channels and subscriptions. And there's also some new analytics, including this really cool feature that allows you to see and listen where people uh, drop off. So I could go right here and say, okay, why was there a little drop off there? The private RSS feed in a podcast player because a lot of people like. And so this is definitely helpful for podcasters. However, because this is new, there are definitely some bugs and I've had some reports of people saying that they can't submit a new podcast to Podcast Connect. So I just wanted to go through the process right now, test it out. We're going to start by testing submission from a podcast hosting platform. So this is Transistor. I've just created a brand new podcast here, uh, have an episode published in the feed, and Transistor has the ability to submit podcasts directly to the different directories. So Spotify is super easy. You just click this button, done. It's submitted to Spotify. Usually takes uh, 15 minutes to an hour, up to 24 hours, but it's pretty quick. Quick update from the future. It took almost exactly 15 minutes from the time I submitted it for the show to be available on Spotify. That was quick. But submitting to Apple in the past has always had a lot of friction. You needed an Apple ID, you needed to manually do it in Podcast Connect. Uh, and so while I can click a button and submit directly to Google Podcasts, I can't just click a button and submit directly to Apple. Now, the way we've gone around this is podcast hosting platforms like Transistor would pre-populate the form you needed in Podcast Connect. So you click this button here, it automatically takes you into Apple, it automatically inserts your new RSS feed, you can click this validating button, it's going to pull up all of your podcast details. Now, will this still work? I don't know. Let's give it a shot here. So submit to Apple Podcasts. It takes us to Podcast Connect and the pre-filled form does not work anymore. So that is unfortunate. Um, yeah, we used to be able to put submit feed in the URL. That no longer works. Okay, so we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. A little bit disappointing, especially since Google and Spotify and even like Podcast Addict uh, has made it easy to submit podcasts through their API. But let's do it the old-fashioned way. We're going to go to the top and grab the RSS feed, bring it over to Podcast Connect, and we're going to click this right here. Uh, new channel or new show. This is going to be a show. So let's click this. And wow, this is different. Okay, first let us know if you're adding an existing show with an RSS feed or if you're adding a brand new show without an RSS feed. Okay, let, I have an RSS feed, but it looks like there's also the ability, what is this, to create a show just on Apple Podcasts. So if I click this, I can create a podcast here but then I can add an RSS feed later. Um, I'm assuming this is for their new sponsored or premium paid podcasts that are going to exist just on Apple Podcasts. I'm gonna have to come back to this uh, because I'm not exactly sure what this is. So let's, let's go back, click that plus icon, new show, adding an existing show, Let's paste in that RSS feed and um, 
let's see what happens. So we're going to give everyone access, make it publicly accessible, click add. Uh, it is telling us what we're missing. So let's go back to the settings in Transistor and we're going to add the language. So, oh, we already have language. It's odd. So why is it not seeing the language? But we have language in the feed. So let's, uh, how do I refresh here? I wish there was a, in the old days, there was a validate button, but that seems to be missing now. So I have no way of refreshing this feed. Let's see, edit, publicly accessible. This is another weird, this control exposes your RSS feed URL to our API, making your show discoverable for larger audiences. Oh, so this must be what Marco Arment was talking about here. He runs Overcast, which uses the Apple Podcast API to uh, populate the Overcast directory. And it looks like feed URL has disappeared from a bunch of existing podcasts. And this is likely why you now need to explicitly allow the RSS feed to be discoverable in Apple Apple's podcast API. And it looks like this was not applied retroactively to existing podcasts that already had their feed publicly available. I'm going to save this. Let's click save again. Okay, here we go. So, I'm not sure why it's saying the language field is not in the RSS feed. If we go back and if we actually look at the metadata in the feed. So this is weird because if we look at Apple's documentation, it needs to contain the required tags. If we go to the required tag section, it needs a language tag. And if we look at the the XML that we're we're uh, submitting here. This feed has the language tag. So language EN for English. If we look at the ISO list, um, EN is the appropriate abbreviation for English. So I'm not sure why Podcast Connect isn't detecting that uh, because we have it. And there doesn't seem to be a way to refresh the feed. So I'm not sure what to do about that. These are still showing as not there, even though I know they're in the feed. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but let's submit this for a review and see what happens. Well, can't do it. View issues. Art, this field is required. Contact phone, this field is required. So now you need now, why didn't it pick up the show art? That's weird too. Because this has the podcast art. iTunes image is the artwork for the show. Again, let's look at the XML and here is iTunes image. If we go here, there, there is an image there. I don't know why it's not detecting it. The need for a phone number is particularly interesting. So here, I'll enter my number and see what happens. Okay, so I've entered my phone number. Let's see if I can submit it for review now. Art, this field is required. So for some reason, it's not picking up the artwork that's in the feed, even though we're using iTunes image. So there's definitely a bug there on Apple's side. Okay, I've now, it's been a couple hours since I recorded that last clip. I've been trying to do this all day. It's five o'clock now. I, th I started this process this morning. I've tried everything. I still have not been able to submit a new podcast feed to Apple Podcasts. And it sounds like other people are having this same issue with the cover art and specific tags in the RSS feed. 
Some people have been able to make it work. Other folks haven't. I've talked to other podcast hosting platforms. They're having the same issue. So yeah, it looks like there's some bugs on Apple's side. Uh, we won't be, won't be able to show you the full process of submitting, but if you are having trouble submitting your RSS feed to the new Apple Podcast Connect, you are not the only one. So that's it for today. I've filed some bug reports with Apple. We'll see what they say, and we'll have to try this another day.